So today we're talking about gaze evoked amaurosis fugax. And gaze evoked amaurosis is exactly what it says. Amaurosis means blindness. The blindness is caused by your gaze. So under normal conditions, the eyeball and the optic nerve in the orbit, when you move your eyes in right or left gaze or up and down gaze, there's sufficient play in the S-shaped optic nerve to allow that movement to occur. However, if you have a tumor in your orbit or in the optic nerve sheath, when you move your eye, the nerve is gonna get compressed. And so when you have extreme gaze and you have a tumor, you might get the nerve on stretch and that will cause the vision to go out transiently induced by the gaze. This is a very specific symptom, gaze evoked amaurosis, for the lesion being in the orbit. Most commonly, a mass lesion, like a sheath meningioma, or an intraconal lesion, like a cavernous malformation in the orbit. However, schwannoma, pseudotumor cerebri, all sorts of things that cause fluid or mass effect in the sheath or in the orbit itself, or vascular lesions in the orbit could produce gaze evoked amaurosis. So what we need is an MRI or a CT of the head and orbit. We need the orbit in gaze evoked amaurosis. It's a very specific symptom. You can try and replicate the symptom in the clinic because the patients often have normal eye exams. But if they have a compressive lesion, they might also have an optic neuropathy that you can detect. And the main point is you should do an imaging study of the orbit in anybody who has gaze evoked amaurosis.